I don't know when will this rain stop again. And there's this power shutdown. Now. Finally, the power came. Meera? Where did I keep it? Hmm? Hey, Meera! Huh? She doesn't seem to be here. Where did she go? Where is she? Why should we waste time by thinking? We'll call Meera's husband and inform him. Whatever she told was right. Anyways, we should not be in trouble in future, right? Already the time is 10.30 now. Call him soon. After he comes here, let him decide what to do next step. Yeah, she's correct. Now the time is 11.30. Where would they have gone at this time of the day? Hmm? Maybe to their friend's home? I don't know, bro. She don't have the type of friends. Pooja told me she didn't even take the phone along with her. I told her many times to resign the job, but she never listened. And she didn't take that seriously. Once I raised my hand on her for this issue. Why did you make her stay in the hostel? She could have gone from home only, na? To reach the office, she should travel around one and a half hours, bro. So what I asked her to stay in hostel. Where is she working now? Garment store in city. She is working as sales girl. Who is she? This Pooja. Her roommate also working along with her. Sir, this is Pooja. Please tell me what happened. It was almost 7 o'clock when we reached our hostel after finishing all our works.
Does Meera have friends outside? I mean, boyfriends? <gasps> Nothing. Nobody that I know of, sir. Before this, have they disappeared like this before, without telling you? Never, sir. Has she called some unknown numbers, or some incoming calls? No, bro. I didn't get any call like that. Where were you washing clothes? Mm hmm. I want to see that place. Right upstairs. Come, I'll show you, sir. It was Veena and Rocky. Hmm. I need to meet those girls. Yeah, sure, sir. I want to ask you something. Only you guys have seen Meera for the last time. That means, when Pooja entered the room, Meera was bathing. She was able to hear only her voice. Mm. Only you guys have seen Meera entering the room. Is that right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, sir. Pooja could be right. They must not have seen you. Do you want to say something? I think Veena and Pooja said the right thing, sir. At first, Meera has come room. After that, only Pooja arrived, sir. You know, like Veena said, uh, we just chatted for a while, sir. After that, we all left, sir. Also, we don't know when Pooja had gone, sir. So, Meera, did she see you? We saw her, but only from long distance, sir. Pooja came out of the room before we had left that place, sir. When you guys were talking about work, did you fight much and did some problem arise? Not that serious. As usual, we had a little fight. But I'm sure that that's not a big issue. Hmm. More than everything, the reason why she didn't resign the job is we urgently needed money very much. After that, did she agree to resign her job? Yes, brother. All those are mine, sir. This? Yes, that's mine. All those that are in the rack are mine, sir. What does your husband do? He's an LIC agent, sir. How many rooms are there? Around 13, 14 rooms are there, sir. But only 10 of them are occupied, sir. Sometimes few guests come and stay, sir. Is there no warden here? There is no warden as such, but a lady comes and goes. Hmm. Last evening when you came back from the cloth shop, did somebody else come along with you? Daily, me and Meera comes to this place along with our friends, sir. Even yesterday, we came like that only. But was there any problem between these two girls in these two years? Uh, no, sir. Nothing happened like that. Hmm. These two girls, I mean Meera and Pooja, what time do they come back? I can't guess it correctly. Maybe I think they'll be back by 5.30 p.m. Were they coming late at any point? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure to say, sir. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir. Hmm. If you wish, I can go to some other room like I heard, sir. Beyond that, I didn't hear anything, sir. Actually, how long does it take to come from city to the hostel? Hmm? Maximum, it'll take 20 minutes, sir. From where all can you enter the hostel? 
there is a small way there but no one uses that all garbages are dumped there and it's nasty <laughs> you haven't answered my question yet i need to talk to marina jodi about something marina said she'll be here and jodi didn't pick the call i'll call her again hmm. i need to see the back entrance okay sir Did you go elsewhere after that? Near a bus stop on our way back to buy fruits, Pooja stopped near a stall. Since it became very late, Jyoti left early since she will not get any bus. We walked a little further from the fruit stall. They stopped in auto and Meera and Pooja got inside and left. How long did you take to leave after Meera and Pooja left? Almost around 10-15 minutes even my bus came and I left. Do you board the bus from the stand? Uh no. I need not go till the bus stop. Uh we mentioned a fruit stall right uh the bus stop is just 5 minutes walkable from there from the fruit shop you just mentioned how long it takes to go to the bus stand around 10 15 minutes would do sir jodi will get the bus only from the bus stand that's right yesterday what time did you reach home i mean do you remember the time um uh, around 6:15 sir answer my last question How do you know about Meera's disappearance? Pooja was the one who told me. When? Last night or this morning? This morning. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Jyoti. For how many years are you working in this clothes shop? Almost 1 year, sir. All four of you work in the same department? Yes, sir. All four of us are sales girls, sir. It's been how long that you know Meera? Around the same time, all four of us joined the work, sir. Actually, just a matter of days, sir. So you know her very well for the past one year. Yeah. Hmm. Jyoti, are you married? No. Last evening, when did you start from the shop? Five thirty. Did all of you left together? Yes. When you were talking to Pooja in the fruit shop, you said you will not get the bus if you get late, and you immediately left. That's right, sir. Marina also told me you won't be able to catch the bus if you get late. What time do you need to be there to catch the bus? 6:10 sir. If I miss that, next it's 6:50 sir. In the fruit shop when you check time then only you knew that you will miss the bus? Yes. What would the time be then? 5:50. How long does it take to reach the bus stand from the fruit shop? Maximum 15 minutes. What work does Marina and Pooja's husband do? Do you know that? Marin's husband has a tiles business sir and Pooja's husband is an insurance agent. Then okay. Thank you Jodi. We'll meet again. Mm. I'll leave sir. You can go now. Mm. What is your name? Sir Satyan Your answers for my question should be same as your name. You should tell only the truth. Ah. Uh. Approximately, what would be the time you have leave them in the hostel? Sir, around like seven o'clock. How many people were there in the auto? Two people, sir. Maximum, how much time does it take from the city to come to this lady's hostel? Tell me. Ah, uh, it will take around twenty minutes, sir. What time did they get into the auto? Six uh, thirty, sir. Six thirty. How can you tell the exact time? Once before this, I've dropped them in hostel, so I knew that very well, sir. Where do you park your auto? Nearby to the garment store, sir. Is there the auto stand? Yes, sir. Did they get into the auto from the stand yesterday? Ah, uh, no, sir. I was returning after a trip. On the way, they requested me, sir. From where? Sir, in front of Hotel International. From where? In front of the Hotel International, sir. You said the time of them getting into the auto was 6:30, right? Yes, around like 6:30, sir. Because the time is 7 when I dropped them at hostel, sir. Is there a fruit shop or any other small shop in front of Hotel International? No, no, sir. <laughs> How can you say so exactly? Can I know about it? Sir, 
ఐఎమ్ ట్రావెలింగ్ ఆన్ ద సేమ్ రూట్ ఫర్ ద పాస్ట్ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ ఐ న్యూ ఆల్ ది అడ్రస్ అండ్ ద రూట్స్ వెరీ వెల్ సార్ యూ సైడ్ యువర్ ఆటో స్టాండ్ ఈస్ వెరీ నియర్ టు ద క్లోత్ షాప్ ఎస్ సార్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఎనీ అదర్ షాప్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ద క్లోత్ షాప్ లైక్ సమ్ ఫ్రూట్ షాప్ యా ఎస్ సార్ దేర్ ఇస్ అ షాప్ హౌ ఫార్ దిస్ హోటల్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ బీ ఫ్రమ్ ద క్లోత్ షాప్ అరౌండ్ లైక్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ టు సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ మీటర్స్ సార్ హౌ లాంగ్ విల్ ఇట్ టేక్ బై వాకింగ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ సార్ is the bus stand near to hotel international no sir from bus stand to reach the garment store we should go straight from the hotel international sir that day they got into your auto in front of hotel international how many people were there two or three there was only one sir just one yes sir only one okay Where did you pick up the second person? Sir, I picked up the second one from there only. But only one requested for the auto, sir. After some time, a person came from the Hotel International, sir. It is a murder. Why do you think in Meera's murder, Pooja could be a culprit in this case? When we investigated people who knew Meera, Pooja, Marina, Jyoti and then the auto driver when we questioned all of them with their answers we get to know that Pooja has a huge role in this hmm. the first thing in this is after Meera entered the room around in 10 minutes Pooja also has entered the room at that point of time there were two another girls near this room I questioned these two girls as well but when I asked Pooja she said she was in the terrace to wash clothes but these two girls have not seen this hmm not just that these two girls who were there have seen meera entering into the room with their own eyes but the thing is nobody has seen meera coming out of the room now the point that we have to take into consideration is after meera and pooja entered there could be something that have happened in between them there could be a fight that could have happened between them mm. point number 2 Pooja told me that she went from the clothes shop directly to the fruit shop. At that point of time, Jyoti said she may miss the bus and she left from there. Taking Jyoti's statement into consideration, the time then was 5.30. After Jyoti left from there, they walked from the fruit shop for some time and then took an auto to back home. Pooja and Marina told me that they came directly to the hostel. Not just that, after Pooja and Marina left, Only after 10 minutes, Marina got the bus that she was supposed to board. That means the time when she boarded the bus was 6.10 or 6.15. So the time when Pooja and Marina took the auto, if what Marina and Pooja told me was correct, 6 o'clock. Mm. The third point here is the reasons given by Jyoti and the auto driver. At 6.10, they felt that they will miss the bus and they left from that place. I mean Jyoti left from there. If I consider what Marina and Pooja told me, it seems correct only. Both of them getting into the auto, Jyoti has not seen that. Jyoti's character exits from there. What that auto guy says is, he must have dropped them in the hostel at 7 pm. That's what he says. It takes 15 to 20 minutes from the town to come back to the hostel if we take into consideration. Only at 6:30 the auto guy has picked them up. The question that arises from this is Jyoti started from there at 5:50. The auto guy picked them up at 6:30. During this time, I mean between 5:50 and 6:30 around for 30 minutes, where would have Meera and Pooja gone? Or must have spent their time Roshan you are wrong. I am saying this because at 7 when they came back to the hostel, the security has seen them. Oh, that's also true. Point number 4. Why do they have to go to Hotel International? What was the need? By any chance Pooja must have gone to Hotel International to meet somebody? In that case, why did Meera have to go to that hotel? That auto person already told that only one girl stood outside the hotel. I take that. Let's assume that Meera and Pooja went to the hotel together. Meera did not enter the hotel. If my calculations are right, in between these two people who committed the crime is Marina I mean when Marina was waiting for the bus they have not gotten into the auto 
पूजा एंड मीरा वुड हैव वॉक टू होटल इंटरनेशनल मेरीना न्यू अबाउट इट माई थॉट्स ऑन दिस इज वेन मेरीना कॉल्ड पूजा टू टेल अबाउट मीरा डिसअपियरेंस बिफोर मेरीना लेफ्ट दे हैव टेकन द ऑटो एंड लेफ्ट फॉर हॉस्टल दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन शुड हैव बीन टोल्ड टू मेरीना आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट टू से बट टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट आर अटेंशन मेरीना मस्ट हैव हेल्प पूजा इन दिस मेरीना इज लाइंग इन दिस वॉट इज इट दैट मेरी इज साइडिंग फॉर पूजा What you are saying is right. That's what I am searching for. Whatever it is, if we get yesterday's call details of Pooja, we will get to know very clearly why both of them went to Hotel International. Since Jyoti left from there earlier, Pooja must not have told to lie to Jyoti. But instead, Marina knows that both of them have gone to Hotel International. Hmm. Now we have to search for things that's outside the case. I assume those things will also help us in this. The point is. Meera's salary is only eight thousand. In the same department, with the same experience, Pooja will not be able to get more salary than her. <laughs> But the dress that Pooja is wearing, her mobile, laptop, jewelry, everything is expensive. She is using a mobile phone that's thirty thousand rupees. I don't think Pooja's husband, who's an LIC agent, will be earning that much to afford this. She has a lot of cash in hand. luxurious lifestyle what kind of work is she doing then hotel international is a four star great business hotel even the room rent per day is 8000 rupees <laughs> i understood one thing pooja has not gone there to meet any ordinary person meera is like a sister to pooja they seem to be like that i think meera is also like that only Yeah. What happened? Did you verify what I told you? Please have a seat. Did something happen that we expected? Yes, sir. On that particular day, Pooja received three calls from her husband, two calls from her mother. Pooja also called to her husband from here. Not only that, morning ten o'clock, evening five o'clock. Also calls at 5:55 p.m. Also we have noted all the three from the same number. To the same number, Pooja made a call from here by 2 p.m. Did you find out whose number it was? Yes, we have found it. That call is to Mr. Clement. Full name Emerson Clement. He is just 21 years old, engineering student. So the things have been moving as I expected. Solomon, surprise is not only that. Exactly by 6:35 p.m., Meera called Pooja. What it means, Meera was not with the Pooja in that particular time. That's what. That's what is right. If we look at that, whatever the auto driver said is the truth. Meera was waiting in front of the hotel. Since the time was more than six thirty-five, there are chances that she could have called Pooja. Hmm. Did you get the complete details of that boy? Okay. I'm actually a little bit far away. What? What's the matter? Yeah, okay. I'm coming. I'll be there. Hmm. Did this guy give any trouble to you? No sir. How did you caught him? Ask his girlfriend to call him. Hmm. He can go now. Yes, we have. I think you are a James Bond fan. Emerson Clement. Don't be afraid. I just called you to understand about some things. My name is Solomon. I am the CI. He is my friend. Last twenty seventh, I mean, a couple of days back. Did you book a room in Hotel International? Uh, yeah, I took it. Uh, who all was there with you? Yeah, my friends are with me. 
They are too. Sometimes we'll book a room like that. <laughs> what time did you check out that day? Uh, I think uh, evening four o'clock. And after that? After that, friends went to their home, and I came to my home. <laughs> what does your father do? Uh, business. What business? Uh, jewelry business. You mean jewelry? Hmm. That's it. How many branches are there? Uh, twelve branches. Where all? Uh, mostly all over. That day, when all your friends checked out and left the room, you came back to meet someone in the room. Who was that? No, I didn't go back. Why? Why are you asking this much questions? <laughs> I think you don't know who I am properly. <laughs> Look at me, bro. I don't have any kind of personal grudges against you. There is a chance that you may lie. We've not got you here to hit you or torture you. That's not my style. But if you think of lying and escaping the situation, we have all the evidences. If I let you go from here, police will surely come after you. Uh, no, sir. I didn't go back. <laughs> Roshan, give me that paper. This is your list of incoming and outgoing calls for 27th. That day in the morning, exactly at 10 o'clock. You've called a girl named Pooja. At two in the afternoon, Pooja has also called you. Again at five o'clock, you've called her. Again at five forty-five, she called you. <laughs> Not just that. The day before yesterday, at around ten forty-five p.m., you've called Hotel International and booked room for yourself. That evening at around six p.m. to meet you, Pooja has inquired about your room number. At Hotel International, that's been told to me by the staff. I have several evidences like this, but before that, I want to ask you something openly. What is the relationship between you and Pooja? Why did both of you together kill that girl miserably? All the jewelry that Pooja uses has the mark of your jewelry shop. <laughs> Why are you crying? I will not punish you by any means. Tell me the truth. Actually, first when I saw her, uh, it was in a textile shop, sir. Who? Oh. Pooja. How many days back? Uh, six to seven months before. After that, she got to know that I'm from a rich family. Then she started to ask some money for me, and I also gave her so much money, sir. As you said, after that I gave her so many ornaments continuously, sir. Then and there, every time, she used to ask so much money, sir, that I can't even imagine. But once she actually asked me one lakh, and she never got away. When I asked her why you want one lakh, she told that she wanted diamond necklace, sir. But I thought she will never ask again. But she never stopped. But I never gave her. But one month before, she actually asked me for ten lakhs. But I never can't give that much amount, sir. But she continued torturing me. But the thing is, I can't say no to Pooja because her bonding became that much strong, sir. No matter how she tortured me. But I keep on calling her, sir, because my love became that much stronger with her. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 huh? First, go uh, and take uh, a bath. No. Go. <laughs> One day, me and Pooja are traveling in the car. Hey, why did you reduce the volume? What about the money that I asked? Uh, Pooja, what is this nonsense? I don't have that much amount. You're asking me ten lakhs. I gave you all the cash which I'm having. So I'm not important for you. My money is important, right? Hmm. If you think you can get not only ten lakhs but ten crores. Are you mad? How many times do I have to tell you I don't have a cash on me? What did you say? I am senseless. If you're not going to give the cash that I asked, I'm going to kill you. Idiot. Hey, come out. I'm 
I'm going to show you a video. Take your phone and switch on the Bluetooth. Can't you do as I say? Pooja, don't play like this. Can you delete that, please? This is not at all right, Pooja. For the past one month, I've been asking you the money very respectfully, but you keep saying you don't have money. When are you planning to give me the money? I'll give you, Pooja. For sure, I'll give you. At least I'll take a loan from my friends and give it to you. But delete that, please. The very moment you give me the cash, I'll hand over this phone to you. You can delete it by yourself. Until then, this is going to be with me. It'll remain a secret with me. Please, Pooja, don't send that clip to anyone. I won't. But remember, if you are ever planning to cheat me, I am definitely not worried about me. My husband knows how I am. The whole world knows. Money, money is all that he needs. Now tell me, when are you planning to give me the cash? I'll give you. For sure, I'll give you. But I need some more time. Hmm. Very good. Finally, I want to tell you something. If only I don't get the cash that I asked, I'm going to kill you. All the pawn sites will have your video. Son of jewelry owner Clement will be the title. Just decide yourself if you want all of this. That's it. From that time we are talking through phone. After that I saw her, as I said, two days before in Hotel International. The amount she asked me, I told that I'll give her for sure when she come to meet me. But she said after completing her duty. She will come to me. When she will come there? After six, sir. When she come to my room, she started to ask about the money. Yes, come in. Uh. <laughs> I knew it well. Ten lakhs is not a big deal for you. My husband keeps telling every now and then that he needs a car. Definitely, the car should be a high end, right? Hand me the cash soon. I'll definitely come and meet you again. I'm not alone. My friends are waiting for me. I have to leave soon. What happened? Why are you looking dull now? What happened? The thing is, I don't have a cash. The person who I asked doesn't have it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Haven't I told you never ever cheat me? I'm not going to believe you again. Ever again. See what I'm going to do. Meera, call an auto. I'll be there in few minutes. Hey Pooja, stop here. Just listen to me. Okay, sir. Tell me what happened after that. After that, I started to request her to delete all those videos. But after that, I came out of that hotel and started to follow her. And the night is also started. I had a rain too. Before that, I went to that place so many times. That's why I remember everything. Speech. I thought that after giving the ten lakhs too, she won't leave me. Then I took a decision. If I kill her, it will be the end. Hello. Yes, okay. I'll call you a bit later. It's raining heavily here. Yeah, I'll definitely call you.
Where is Meera? Where? Where you hide Meera? Till now we could not find the body of the Meera. Even now we could not find it. What you did that body? Sir, why did you want to see me? Why do you need the 10 lakh rupees for? You are a very lucky girl. Your time was good and you got saved. And against that, one innocent girl lost her life. <laughs> Sir, Meera. Meera. Meera has been murdered. <laughs> want to know who killed her clement emerson clement he came there to kill you because of the power cut he got mistaken all that he need is just money and he never questions anything huh. what kind of people live in this world they have approached me to investigate another murder case the victim there is a nun a midnight murder anyway thanks for you solomon only good things will happen to you yen solomon involved in this case i just stood as a stranger in this case <laughs> yeah one more thing the jewels that i took from the hostel in between there was pooja's mobile phone <laughs> you don't need to check that mobile phone She has already deleted that video. <laughs> <laughs>